The punk movement has subsided, but the key remaining representative is the Clash. Clash are certainly very important. Clash um, came along uh, in the wake of the Sex Pistols. They were one of the original uh, punk bands. The whole punk thing is more, more an attitude than anything else. But it's just a very straight ahead, uh, almost violent message. They're a tremendously vital, exciting live band. <laughs> The Clash is exciting, even crazy. They're singing, we're a garage band. The garage is where there are no slick studio sounds, big money, record contracts, or publicity. They'll even die for the cause. Americans have forgotten what rock and roll is about, and so that's what we're doing here. We're trying to remind you. It ain't about playing the right chord for a start. If punk ain't about playing the right chords, what is it? It's anger, energy, politics. In fact, many of the chords they do play are those of reggae, the syncopated third world liberation music, essentially from the Caribbean. Reggae is replacing punk as a dominant influence in British New Wave music. 